Hello everyone, it's Roy Man. Welcome back to The Bouncer. Last time, we crash landed into a forest, fought Mugetsu, and fought Doragon. And now this time, we're going to see the results of our fight against Doragon. I thought I recognized that face. So you're still alive. I must defeat you. For Master Mikado's sake. <laughs> Apparently I have underestimated you. But how about this? <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, but I have other more pressing matters. As does Dominique. It is almost time, Dominique. Please, open up! My sister, she's dying! Oh dear, where are your mother and father? Um, uh, one, one moment. Doctor! Doctor! I'm sorry. The doctor's on a house call right now. You'll have to find another hospital. Please! I don't have anywhere else to go! Please! Please save my sister! <laughs> Are you all right? Good heavens! To the hospital, quickly! At what, sir? Master Mikado wishes to adopt you as his son, under one condition. Condition? You must become worthy of inheriting the Mikado group. Obviously, you must excel scholastically, but you must also train your body and soul. I understand. I would be more than happy to return this favor in any way possible. You will learn all disciplines for your sake for your sisters as well. You have done well in succeeding your father. You've endured harsh training, and you've matured into a young man in whom anyone would be proud. Your father will rest easy knowing that his legacy lies in good hands. From now on, you will lead the Mikado. Okay, so, I'm going to tell you this right now. We are going to be doing this se section at least three separate times because, well, how about if I just pick a character and show you what I mean. Let's pick Scion. already so this is where it's kind of unique we're fighting only by ourselves so we need to definitely be careful especially with our HP 
I would recommend, like, low a lot of the enemies. But this level is actually a good way to get a lot of BP. Which, as you can see right there, we already got some BP. So we already have 300. So how about we go for life up. Press OK. And the problem is, I don't want to save. So if we fail at any point... But I remember last time I failed. So what I would recommend, if you want to play this level multiple times... You have multiple save files. Save this as multiple times as possible. So this will be our Cyan run. Is this job really worth your life? And we can continue going forward. We do have a room here. But we also have multiple doors. Uh, let's see where this door leads us to. This will actually be the first time we actually get to do some exploration. Until we start fighting some more characters. So, remember that guarding is a good, viable option. Use the circle button if you get too crowded. And just remember, guard is always an option, and juggling them and sweeping them is always a good option as well. Not to mention, remember, Cyan has a special move. Use that if possible, if, if you're one-on-one -on, -one on somebody. And right now, I think we're losing. See, that sweep kick practically took out a lot of them. So, try using the sweep kick as much as possible and keep your distance when they're attacking. As you can see, we already got them all down to red. And there we go! Chain bonus! Nice! And I really do hate the fact that... We have to save each time. So, let's power up power. Okay. That way we can at least take them out faster. So, again, we want to save on save file number two. And we continue going forward. Uh, the problem is finding where the heck we're supposed to go. Because we are right now in a maze. The MSDPD. Wait, we're fighting against the police? Oh no, these are commanders. Yeah. Fighting them is actually easy. Is that a robot? Yeah, that... I don't know how you... Uh, yeah, just keep doing that. And we get more experience. So, how about we bring up the fence up? Okay. And save again. Like I said, I don't want to restart any of this. So, like I said, multiple save files is the easiest way to go through this. Okay, so that was obviously... That was obviously the wrong path. Because we obviously went out of that room. So let's see what happens if we go into... Nope. 
Okay. Um, let's see what's in door number one. Door number two. two? Door number three? No. Uh, one of these doors leads us to somewhere. Or, you know, we could just go into multiple doors. Nothing in this room. And we just somehow got into a door. Uh, where do we go now? Because this doesn't look like it leads to anywhere. Oh, we found the upstairs! Nice! Um... Wait, what? Okay. Well, we found this room. Bunch of computers, a bunch of that. We found this door, so hopefully it leads to somewhere. What are these guys? And robots! Just sweep kick a lot of them, and watch out for the robots, they cannot get knocked down. And no, you, I don't believe you can use Buster Throw on them. Okay. Game punch in the back of the head is not fun. Got 26 BP from that. There we go. No. Ouch. Okay, let's just do that to get them all off me. Get that one off me. And that robot looks like it hasn't noticed me, so let's just continuously just... Yeah, they're machines, so they can't really be... Okay. Get over here so I can sweep kick you or punch you. I don't think they actually have a guard animation, so they can't really guard against you. So these robots are actually pretty easy to take care of. But we get more XP. So let's bring up life up. Press OK. Save. On the second file. Okay. Oh, please let this be the room. Oh, look! We have a panther! Uh, apparently, Panthers can go through doors. Okay, so we have this room. It's some kind of special key. It really doesn't do much. Oh, we have a door. But we need a special. Yeah, we need a special kind of key. Uh, is there a key somewhere in this room? Okay, Project M forces. Uh, project modifying the subject through robotomy, surgically removing the nervous system. Been enhanced to insist in the completions. However, in this simulation of fighting, the fighting instinct tends to cause the subject's mind to degrade. So Mikesu is an experiment. Special forces. This is basically a. A lot. We haven't seen MC07, so this might be a little bit of. Uh, we never seen this guy either. Caldea. Biological. We got dogs yeah. and. Dominique? What the? 
What's this A2 project? I need a password? Okay. Damn. And what about Project A2? Oh no, they punched the computer! Well, time to beat them up. Oh. Oh, one of them finally talks about. Oh, they're elites! That's why we're having a difficult time with them. 40 BP. Uh. Come on. Get your butt over here. There we go. That takes care of that. Not enough for anything, so we're just going to press OK on that. Save from that battle. OK, and let's continue going forward. Okay, so where does this lead to? I'll teach that thing a lesson. Well, that door just closed on us. And now we're finally going against the panther. What I recommend, low kicks, sweeps. Don't use your mid attack or high attack. Low kicks are the way to go. Because you cannot hit it with your high attack or. And be careful when it does that. Otherwise, it's a completely easy battle. Just low kick it to death. You can see why I was focusing on this Panther first during our Duragon battle. She's very easy to take down. Especially when you start pouncing on me like a wild animal. Oh, wait. There we go. And that just gives us some more small experience. Let's go for power up. I do love that we actually get full HP every time. And we are at E rank. So let's just put that on to so now it's human. file number two. Just press OK and keep moving forward. You don't recognize me, do you? Huh? What was that all about? Dominique. So, 
at this point, I would just pick my character that would fit best fit the situation, but... What the heck was Volt and Co. doing the time when Cyan was trying to find Dominique? So, next time on The Bouncer, we'll be seeing what Volt or and Co. have been doing while Cyan was looking for Dominique.